mountain this morning. This morning, whatever stands as mountain in your life that has not made you to break through, to enter into where you are going to, the grace of God will bulldoze them. The finger of God will taught them and met them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Some of you, you are about to enter into your next level, but the devil, the spirit of fear has been sent against your life. You are afraid. You are fearful. Today, that power is broken in the name of Jesus. I say it's broken in the name of Jesus. I will begin to read it. I have about maybe five or six translations. And God is going to follow his word, confirm his word in your life. Today is a new day in your life. You are moving forward. The finger of God will fight for you. The hand of God will support you. The spirit of God will lift you above obstacles. In the mighty name of Jesus. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 7. Can we read? The Bible says, who are you? Oh great mountain. Anywhere you see Zerubbabel as I'm reading, put your name there. Hallelujah. Who are you? Oh great mountain. Before Zerubbabel, you shall become a plain. And he shall bring forth the great the capstone with shout of what grace, grace, grace. We are grace is at work, obstacles are not permitted to stay. Obstacle to your marriage, obstacle to your childbearing, obstacle to your job opportunity, obstacle to your promotion, obstacle to your next level. They are not permitted to stay. When grace is at work, you are moving forward. You are moving forward. You are advancing. You are breaking through. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Can somebody shout grace, grace? Say grace. Grace. Shout grace. In Amplified Bible, what are you, oh great mountain? What are you? Is it sickness? Is it disease? Is it poverty? Is it lack? Is it human element standing on your way and making a decree you will not go beyond this level? Who, what are you? What are you, oh great mountain of obstacles? Before Sedu Babel, who will rebuild the temple? There's an assignment for your life. You will fulfill it. He said you will become a plain. You will become insignificant. Insignificant. Is that what they put here? You become insignificant. That's what I read here. You become insignificant. And it will bring out the capstone of the new temple. New things will come out of your life. With loud shout of what? Grace. Grace. Loud shout. Loud sh when you are confident of what grace can do, you will not keep your mouth. Short. No, you will announce it. Somebody shout, Grace is coming upon your family, upon your endeavor, opening door for you in the name of Jesus. Let me read it in easy translation. Big mountain, you are no problem. Big mountain, you are no problem. You are no, you are no problem. You can be a problem when I've not got grace. But now that grace has come, you become a non-entity. Big mountain, you are no problem. You will become flat ground in front of Manji Wayola Olubu Suyi. I don't know about you. Then it will bring out the last and biggest stone of my house. You are going to do big great things. Thank God for what you have done in the past. Thank God for the achievement of the past. Greater things are coming out. Greater grace are coming upon your life for greater exploits. Greater opportunity, greater breakthrough, greater open door. You will not go down. You will not regret. You are not going backward. You are advancing in the name of Jesus. And he said, God is shout for it. God bless it. God bless it. So when there, there is a release of grace, blessing is activated. Blessing is activated. Blessing coming upon your family, upon your body, your spirit, soul, and body coming upon your business coming upon your academic efforts in the name of jesus coming upon everything you do be blessed receive grace receive grace receive grace we release grace of god upon your endeavors in the name